What is going on you guys? I'm Gabriel Mike and we are back on Agrarian Skies. Once again, last time I left you off, we were getting everything set up for the smelter. We got our area nice planned out right here. This is where we're going to plunk it down. I have a picture brought up so I know what I'm actually doing this time when we finally get the parts. But the first thing we got to do is just get a lot of grout. So for grout, let's see, I need to remember the pattern. I believe it's four sand, one clay. Okay, so to do that we need a bucket. So let's grab our bucket and we need to come over here and make some clay all right so let's make let's just make four things of clay to start i think that's pretty much all we will need but we'll see not entirely sure how much grout we're going to end up needing bang bang oh wait no dust is as far as we can uh bring it down okay so let's just grab some water put it in the buckets so we can turn this all into clay and bang 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 give me that clay all right and then one more sweet sweet okay so now we need 16 of each to make okay so let's turn these 16 blocks into let me just double check that just to make sure okay yeah so four will create eight all right yeah so we need 16 so let's turn all this into sand and then we can just go get more gravel. And let's just break it down. So we, yeah, we just need 16 more pieces. We're gonna have to create a new hammer here soon too. That should give us, uh, what, like 32 blocks of grout, which should be enough, but I'm not entirely sure. So we need 10 more. Hopefully this, yeah, this hammer will last at least through the end of this. And we're going to go over to the crafting bench setup. And I believe I actually have to cook this grout. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll look. Okay, so let's create... Where is my crafting table? Um, it's sand. Like that. Like that and that, I believe. Yeah, okay. 32 blocks of grout. Okay. So we have our grout. Let's find our... Oh, God. Tree spot on me. Uh, let's find out this sear tank. Let's start with that. I looked all this up last time, but I do not remember. It's been a while. Sear tank. Okay. So one piece of glass. So we're actually going to have to get one more sand and fire that. Seared brick. Okay. So we do have to cook all this. So let's get all this going. Um, throw the rest of the wood in there. Let's cut down one of these trees real quick. This one, because this, this is just like right in the way of everything. I wish I had... Um, there's a mod with a uh, mod pack similar to the Sky Factory. Vein Miner, that's what I'm thinking of, where you just like keep buying something and you can break down like this entire tree with just one. That would be so helpful. But we, we gonna have to work with what we got. Alright, so we have four ingots. Um, let's create, I don't know. what. Alright, we need more sand. We need some sand, that's what we need. Okay, so... Let's. I don't, mean, I don't know how many blocks out. Let's just grab a few just in case. I'll just break. Let's just break this hammer real quick. Create a new one. We have plenty of cobble and a pickaxe, so we uh, we're good. Guys, we might actually need more grout anyway. So while we're waiting for that to sear, turn into seared bricks, we can just do this and get her done. This actually has a lot of uses on it, dang. I'm impressed. The stone hammer is efficient. So, okay, there we go. Alright, so we got, what, another 25 blocks out of that? Let's create our pick real quick, or another hammer real quick, like that. Alright, so we have another hammer. Um, we'll just turn three of these for now into sand there we go okay so we have 10 real quick i'm going to swap this out with one piece of sand okay so seared we have that now we need a what else smeltery controller smeltery controller okay so that's just eight so that's pretty easy to do we can do that one while we wait like that okay so we have the smeltery controller Mighty smelting. We got a book. Okay, so let's put 
our smeltery stuff in there as we go. Let's take that out, put the rest of the grout. Yeah, we're gonna need more grout, I know it. So, um, let's take a look at this book. See what it has to say. Make the most of your metals. Um, okay, so it's pretty much just telling me, this is telling me how to, yeah, okay, three, okay, sweet, there's actually a, uh, an image right here. Simple, <coughs> man, I still got this nasty cough. Uh, simple, uh, simple, so we put three by three, or, uh, yeah, three by three, just seared brick bottom, and then just set it up like that. <laughs> simple. Alright, um, I actually have a better picture than that one anyways. Let's see, so, we have the sear tank going, smeltery drain. Smeltery drain is another six, yeah, alright, so we need more, <laughs> we need more grout. It's simple as that, okay, so, actually, let's turn total of eight like this that way we can create and then wait we actually need two more down so we need to turn two of those sand into dust like this I'm really glad I got that juicer because that is helping with food control so much uh, two dust we need our bucket again place that there that there where is my dust? Bang, bang. Oh, what the heck? Alright. And then come over to this. We're going to create a few more of these guys. A few more grouts. Ah, place it. There we go. Okay. So we have another 16. Are these? Okay, so we can start doing some of this. So we place that in there. Bring it around. Okay, so that is the sear tank. And we're actually going to turn this into that. So we can have some more wood going in there. Um, six. Okay, so now we can do that. And we have the smeltery drain. So we have the smeltery, the sear tank, the smeltery drain. And see, the thing is, I don't think I'm going to actually have to create any of the seared bricks blocks because we get a ton of them for that. Okay, so we need a seared faucet now. So seared faucet, faucet, seared faucet, okay. Seared brick, is that? That looks like a totally different color to me. Okay, I'm thinking, wait a second, let's take a look at that again. Okay, so let's just try it with three for the faucet because that, I, I'm pretty sure it's just the same, okay, yeah, same thing, cool. So we got the faucet now, what do we got left? Um, we can throw the rest of this grout on as well. While we're waiting. Okay. Book. We need a casting table and a seared brick. Casting table. Take a look at this. Um. So that's another seven. And then what is the final one we need? Seared. Oh, just seared bricks. I believe that is maybe a four by four, or is that a nine by nine, or a three by three? Two by. Ah, okay. You know what I'm saying. Two by two. Okay. I'm in a total of four. That's what I was trying to say. And I totally just lost what our other pattern was. Jeez, casting table. Oh, oh no, man. I know what that is. I got it. We're, we're good on We're actually really good on grout. We are fine. We don't need any more. Nice. Okay. Kind of break some of these that look weird. There we go. Okay, that, that just looks super weird. Uh, I don't think this tree is going to grow with this one here, so we may end up having to cut this down to see what our, uh, what is this, white willow looks like. But we'll worry about that at a later time. Got some more juice on me. Yes, I do. Bring me some apple juice because I'm feeling a little peckish. Uh, get the rest of this. So we need just a few more pieces. This will go like that. Give us the casting table. Place that in there. Now we just need a seared brick. And we just need two more for that. Okay, so let's see here. Let's kind of map this out. So we need three by three. Um... Just place this in the corner for now. Uh, mobs can probably spawn. Yeah, okay, we'll place that there. Okay, so we can go like, because we need the outside, and we want it to, the drain to come out this way. So if we do those dimensions, I think we'll be okay. Right there, okay. So we're just going to map those out with torches for now, so we can kind of see what we're working with. Okay, and that should give us all that we need. Okay, so we can come over here. And bring it around, that will give us a seared brick. Cool, so we have it all. So let's turn in this quest. Um, what do we want? Peach sapling? I think we just want the reward bag. Or do we want the peach sapling? 
don't want the slimy sapling. I don't think that's going to do us anything good. We have plenty of carrots, so peach really wouldn't do us any difference. So we're just going to go with that. We got a bunch of seared bricks. We can place all this in here for now. While we see what we got out of our reward bag. Alright, it's a good reward bag. Uh, okay then. So, <laughs> we got peach saplings out of our reward bag. Alright. It's been, it's, it's fate. We're destined to get us some peach saplings no matter what. So, I'd say worth. We got four out of it. <laughs> Alright, so we actually want to, eventually, I'm just breaking all these while we're doing this. Um, so yeah, 11 carrots. So we have 30 carrots. Um, oh no, oh geez, we have 60, okay, we are good on food, we don't even need to worry about that anymore, for <laughs> forever. Okay, so what I want to do is set up a peach forest, um, but first of all, before I get sidetracked on that, a peach forest, a forestry of peaches. We want to get our seared brick, um, go with some fancy as well, why not? Uh, let's see, and let's just grab all these pieces, and we'll see if I can do this successfully or not keep that so we can break it all in case I screw up and the chiseled um, why not okay so let's see to set up a smeltery I kind of want that book let's see what this kind of says um, construction uh, let's see here nine seared brick any combination of ten seared bricks your tanks or terrain so we might actually need some more seared brick I'm not sure uh, shell around a 3x3, three three. place the controller one layer up, and the lava tank anywhere on the same lava tank. Is that just our sear tank, maybe? Uh, oh, okay, you gotta keep tapping to the same page. Um, place the controller one layer up, and the lava tank. So let's start with our 3x3 three three area. That's simple enough. Uh, fill in the rest with seared bricks, lava tanks, or drains as you like. The small end of drain should be facing the outside. If the controller will light up, and start working. Fill the tank with lava, the smeltery with metal, and watch it go. Okay, I that really didn't help me much. Um, so screw it. Let's just let's just get this going. We we're gonna try our best <laughs> to figure this out. Okay, so we have that. Let's get rid of that for now. So it says place the sear tank one up on the outer shell. So if we place that like that, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, this picture has like glass and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, let's see. Let's read about this. Place the controller one layer up and the lava tank. I don't I have a, do I have a controller? Yeah, I have a controller somewhere. Anywhere on the same lever, level. Fill in the rest of the space with seared bricks. The small end of the drain should be facing the outside if your system controller light up. Okay, so I believe... We're going to need some more seared brick. Yeah, definitely. So, where is my smeltery controller? We'll place that there. And then, so we filled that with lava. So now I believe if we do something like this, where's my faucet? Did I not pick up the faucet? Okay, so I didn't, and then I believe that's going to work. I'm not entirely sure. Um, we actually have some serious and cracked brick. Did all this smell? Okay, cool. So we can take that. So that'll be a few more blocks as well and we're not gonna worry about the corners because we're kind of limited on materials and we'll make it look a little bit nicer here later on okay so if I put the drain there and I bel I don't know if that's gonna work I think it should it should okay and then we will have enough with smeltery drain in okay no what the heck I don't know what I'm doing this actually has to go here because it drains. Because I'm, because <laughs> that would make sense. Um, I don't know if this has to face a certain way, so we're going to just do this. Gravel and place it like that. Okay, I think that's accurate. That looks accurate to me. And then we are one block short. So if we just do that, nice, cool. It is the probably not the the prettiest uh, smeltery you've seen, but hey, it's gonna have to work. And let's just kind of... Okay, so it is working. Smeltery controller. It said if it is working, it will light up. And actually, we want this back. We want to just cobble underneath it so it looks a little bit cleaner. Then we can just place that there. And then like that. Okay, so what the smeltery would do is alloys. So if I put... Um, let's see... 
So if I throw copper and tin in there, it'll make bronze. Okay, so, but we'll need uh, some other stuff to get that going. So we'll worry about that later on. Let's look at our quest book. So that, that will help us. I believe that will just maximize more ore that we get if, I, if I'm thinking of it correctly. Let's juice some more apples while we are here. Juice. Give me that apple juice. Mm-mm-mm, because we are getting hungry. That was some tough work building that smeltery. All right. Let's look at what it opened up, though. Okay, casting call and moving molten metals is what it opened up. Okay. So, casting call. To create more powerful tools and weapons, you will need to make casts for farming molten metal into tool parts. Use the wooden part patterns to make... Now it's making sense with this the Tinker's Construct last time when I was trying to do the casting. Uh, use the wooden patterns to make stone parts of the tools, pieces you wish to make. Cast uh, Right-click casting table um, with a stone part and pour aluminum, brass, or gold over them to form casts. A seared brick or regular brick will make an, uh, will make an ingot cast. Com combine cast parts into tools with the tool station or tool forge. Okay, um, we only have about five minutes left in this episode, so I'm going to worry about that next time. What we are going to do, however, is we are going to get some of these peach trees growing. Priorities, man. Priorities. So we're going to cut this down with our really weak axe that we are eventually going to get rid of. I just need to... Uh, actually, I think I could probably change it out right now. Let's just get rid of this tree, and then, yeah, we're going to see if I can uh, get a different axe going. Um, do we have any more flint? Flint, flint, flint. Yes, I have some in my inventory. I believe we need tool station. For an axe, we just need the axe head. So stencil table. Um, axe head. Okay, and then we need the tool rod. I believe, is that right? Yeah, okay. So part builder. If we stick flint in there with our... That, that'll create a flint head, and then if we do the tool with the stick, that'll create a wooden tool rod. Okay, so we can put these back in there, and then tool station. So if we click that, we just drag the wooden tool and the flint axe to create a flint axe. Nice. Oh yeah, so we can just shove you in there for now. We got some more coal as well. Wow, let's see how much, how more, oh jeez, that's so much more efficient, that is so nice. Alright, so that'll give us plenty of wood, nice, that is really good, loving it. And actually, let's just get these crooks gone as well. So we're going to expand our island out a little bit and create some peach trees so we can uh, start growing some peaches. Let's see if we're going to get any more saplings, we need a few more pieces of dirt, that's what I'm kind kind of striving for here. We also still need to set- man, I am just all over the place. We need to set up a uh, mob farm too still, so we can complete some of the other quests. Get some of those easy uh, easy ones out of the way where we get uh, refillable hearts and all that. So we can just break that, and let's just cut this tree down. See, these also gain experience too, so we actually should have uh, started using these from the get-go. Okay, we can create one more- I think two peach saplings trees will do just fine. Alright, so we'll compost that. Well, that's composting. We will expand this out a little bit. We want to go this way. So if we go just to right there, at this, and if we place that there, I know this is not symmetrical at all, it's fine. I kind of want the, uh, I don't know what the size of the peach trees are going to be. So I'm kind of giving them a little bit more room. Okay, and let's grab our other piece of dirt real quick. Hopefully it's done. 70%, oh my gosh, it's taking forever. So pretty, I think, what? so we add the, I think we just right click with a lava bucket and that will put lava into there. And then in here, we put whatever ore we want to smelt, or the, um, yeah, and then it will smelt it in here, and then it will drain out into here, into the cast, I believe. I'm going to have to do some research on that still. At least we got it set up, which is what is important. <laughs> That's the important part of this episode. Um, let's just turn the rest of this into oak planks, and we will just finish off this platform. I have to place some more trees, or not trees, uh, some more torches. 
Hopefully that will give me enough here. God, this is ugly. Alright, that's gonna have to work. Do we have our peach saplings on us? Yes, we do. Place those down. Alright, it is looking good. Yeah, so mobs can spawn all over here. So we are going to place torch there. Let's just kind of go over my area real quick and make sure some mobs can spawn up here. Uh, if I place a torch there, that should cover... Yeah, okay. So our platform is mob-free once again. Looking good. Alright guys, I'm going to end episode number 5 of Agrarian Skies here. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Leave a like if you joined the series. It actually really does help. And I will see you guys next time. Oh, <laughs>